Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I've been thinking about this uh, issue I was having with my inverter. When it gets to 15 volts, it shuts down, and these uh, controllers don't react quick enough. Um, you know, when I shut a big load off and it just goes down to the um, idle mode. Uh, which in my case is around 20 watts I think is all I use when the stuff that's hooked into it you know is on standby and the few things that that run on it don't require much um, the voltage would like just go just a hair past 15 of course it shut the inverter off and some of the stuff that I got hooked onto it is our, our phone stuff and and uh, you know that's not not what we want so been trying to figure out a way to keep this inverter from seeing that high of voltage and shutting down and I got thinking way back when I was a young lad <laughs> and they first come out with a 78 12 uh, three leg regulators we used to use them in a lot of stuff I still do and uh, Sometimes we want a little, like a 78, 12, um, we want a little more than 12 volts. We can put a diode in series with it and get, uh, like, depending on the diode, 12.7 uh, volts. And I thought, I wonder if I could do that with this. So I set up a little experiment, thought I'd show you guys. Um, because my uh, inverter is still hard hardwired in for the uh, remote, I didn't make it so I could easily undo it. I kind of got to do it on the garage floor here, so I know the lighting and stuff isn't very good. But I'm going to try to show you what I come up with, and I, I think it's going to work. So I got power supply feeding in the inverter through a diode. And I got it on the negative side just because that was the easiest way. It could go on either side. Uh, and it's got about a 0.7 volt loss. So, when there's actually 15 volts here, we got like 14.3 here. So, it can go over and not shut the inverter down. And another thing that I I think is a good thing, this inverter goes all the way down to ten and a half volts before it disconnects. And that's that's pretty hard on your batteries. So that'll up that by 0.7 volts too. So it shuts down at eleven something. So let me turn it on and I'll show you what I think is going to be the solution. Okay, so the power supply is at 12 volts. Of course, these are really light wires, so down here at the input of the diode. Okay, we got 11.66. So I'm going to turn it up until it hits 15. And hopefully you can see it here. Okay, there's 15 volts. So the inverter would normally shut down at that voltage. But here I got 14.2. So if I turn this up, when it does get to 15, it shuts down. And when I turn it back down, See how low it okay so I'm gonna move back down here for the actual battery voltage and it normally shuts down at ten and a half 
So it's getting ready to shut down. Shuts down a little earlier. So I can run it up a little past 15. And it stays right on. Where before it got the 15.1 and it was off. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me try. I'll zoom in on the meter. Okay. I'm on the on the battery side of the diode. So there we are. Fifteen point six and it's still running. Because over here we have 14.8 so and there she goes out of course that voltage jumps up because these light leads on this power supply so I think that's gonna work I'm gonna give it a try and of course I'll have to mount this on heat sink because it probably will get a little bit warm. I mean, I can't feel any, any heat in it there now. But uh, we don't want it just dangling there. So I got to come up with a plan to get that mounted. And I'm going to put her back in service and give it a try for a few days. And I'll uh, let you guys know how it turns out. So just a quickie. Um, hopefully it's a solution. Maybe it'll help some of you other guys out that are having the same problem. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.